Good Eva Rune viewer, and welcome to episode 20 um, um, of SOTD. That's right, we're not paying attention either. Okay, before we start tonight's show, we need to finish what we started last week during our January transfer window special, as we weren't able to include the mighty Spurs. So, on the list for coming in are Danjuma, Poro, and Beyonce Knowles. While on the list for going out are Gil, Doherty, Spence, and of course, Antonio Conte's gallbladder. Acknowledgement, Vicky J. Whitworth. Me, 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 and me, 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 and Maggie HB, me, 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 and Simon Greedle. Shut up! Me, 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 me! Right then, pork pie, go man your station while I get this show on the road. Our first game tonight saw Auntie Graham's Chelsea host Tony Montana's Fulham. However, that game ended in a nil-nil draw, and we don't cover nil-nil draws on the basis that if you can't be bothered to score any goals, we can't be bothered to talk about you, because there's nothing to talk about. Shame, really, as they are two of our more entertaining managers. Our second game this week saw Sean Dyche's Everton host Mickle Arse Tecker's Laughnall, where... No. Really? <laughs> okay. Everton beat Laughnall. 1-0. Port Pie met the managers. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, uh, any other imaginary genders that happen to be watching this crap, um, I'll apologise in advance, because this is a stupidly busy week here at SOTD, as next weekend I'll be in the studio sorting out a new addition to the manager family. However, Sean Dyche's appointment, while absolutely fantastic, because he's brilliant, has totally caught me off guard, uh, and I can't get anywhere near the studio with Tyson Fury at such short notice. So, kindly bear with us on that front. Daishi, welcome back to the Premier League, and congratulations on your first win, which was against the temporary league leaders. Laugh all. Hey, up, you little sausage. It feels good to be back in the Premier League where I belong. But then, you know what I'm like when it comes to retirement. Never lasts too long, does it? And I'm glad you said temporary leaders, because facts are facts. Uh, you mean uh, you have something to say about Arteta? Well, don't hold back. What's on your mind? The arse people have had a good hard run in the Premier League so far this season. But let's face it. Arse Tecker's a dosser. Uh, he is? Pep Guardiola is Lord Sugar, and old Coneboy is his apprentice, so anybody with an ounce of football knowledge knows full well that Coneboy is only keeping that seat warm for Pep. An interesting and knowledgeable viewpoint. Moving on. Ah! 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 Well, nobody saw that result coming, although the stock value of Ambrosia has suddenly shot through the roof. Cream rice? No, custard. It goes really well with crumble. <laughs> I knew this day would come, but you don't have to be quite so mean about it. I mean, it's only our second loss of the season. Your second loss so far? Look, Try not to see this as a personal insult, and instead, try to view it as a form of training session. Training session for what? Well, you can bet your bollocks to a bar dance that when you get back to your training ground at London Coley, the wankers from AFTV will be there with some banners saying, Oh, Teta out! I would call you a ham roll, blood, but in all fairness, that's probably an accurate shout, fam. Gary! Brighton hosted Bournemouth and the game ended in a 1-0 win for De Zerbe's men. Port Pie met the managers. Uh, Zebedee, you beat Bournemouth 1-0 and got all three points. Are you happy with the result? Of course. Okay, moving on. Aye, hold tight. 
Yes. You never have any time for me, do you? Why is that? Uh, well, our job here at SOTD is to take the piss out of football managers and football players. I'm aware of that. Yeah, well, the problem we have with you is the fact that when you give a post-match interview, uh, you get asked a question in English, the same question then gets put to you by your interpreter in Italian, only for you to answer the question in English. So, so if we try to manipulate that farce into a sketch, we get labelled as racist, Mr. Dudry. Oh, right. Okay, then. Gary. Oi, you can't say that. Why not? Well, for starters, that's my line. And secondly, I haven't interviewed Gary O'Neill yet. He's just going to bang on about injuries and foreign players not being ready for the Premier League. Shut up. Gary O'Neill. You lost 1-0 to Brighton. Your form isn't looking brilliant at the moment. What's going wrong at Southampton? Well, you know, we've got several players out injured at the moment. And uh, whereas uh, we managed to sign a few in the window, uh, unfortunately, uh, they're not really that familiar with playing in the Premier League. So, um, you know, I called it... Gary! Our next game saw Crystal Palace travel to Old Trafford, where they lost 2-1 to Manchester United. Pork Pie met the managers, and I'm glad we've treated O'Neill the same as Lampard and not spaffed money on getting him drawn up, because he will definitely not be a Premier League manager next season, or possibly at the end of this season. Pork Pie, Ted Hogg, 2 0, had you damn near fucked it up. But well done for finally beating Crystal Palace. Good for you. Yes. Well, uh, a win is a win, and three points is uh, three points. Casemiro, what was that all about? Oh, Casemiro crossed the line. He certainly did that. Yes, but having crossed that line, he was no longer on the pitch. So it was an off-pitch incident. So it was outside of the referee's jurisdiction. What? Many players crossed the line, but only Casemiro was given a red card. That is wrong. The referee was clearly a Crystal Palace supporter. He didn't even want to give us a penalty. He's wrong. Casemiro got a red card for grabbing Will Hughes' throat with both hands. That's tense about to strangling someone. Bullshit. He was protecting his teammates by restraining Hughes. The red card was harsh. So on that basis, we can expect to see Mason Greenwood back in training next week then. What? Moving on. Vieira! Bit of a bad game at Old Trafford, and uh, you didn't seem too happy when the final whistle blew. Yes, but I don't want to talk about it. Okay, um, the penalty decision. What are your thoughts? I saw it, uh, but I don't want to talk about it. Uh, okay, uh, the red card against Casemiro. Uh, I saw it, but... Uh... You don't want to talk about it. Okay, a pattern is clearly forming and you're scared of getting a Premier League bitch slap and potential fine. <laughs> Gary! Brentford hosted Southampton and beat them 3-0, leaving Southampton with bus fare home. Port Pie met the managers. Thomas Frank! 3-0, had you got three points. And with four wins and a draw from your last five games, your current form is better than all of the teams above you. How does that feel? Yeah, it's crazy. Just like me. Wild. Right. Uh, and uh, if your form continues, uh, will you be looking forward to European football next season, perhaps? Yeah, that would be crazy. Just like me. Mental. Okay. Uh, well, clearly you've had your happy pills today. So, uh, moving on, let's interview Nathan Jones. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I was you, mate. Uh, why ever not? Have you seen Nathan Jones's post-match interview yet? No. Why? What did he say? Well, something about all he ever does is compromise and that he's one of the best managers in Europe. Really? He said that? Yeah. So, if you try and make a joke out of it, that'll get you labelled as bashing the mentally retarded. Uh, Gary? Random. Well, we'll follow up that 3-0 win with another 3-0 win as Liverpool travelled to Wolves and got their pants pulled down. Port Pie met the managers and I have no idea what's going on with Liverpool's form this season. Uh, Lopetegui! 3-0 is an impressive win although uh, you'll have to admit 
that the Liverpool you play today are a million miles away from the Liverpool you would have played last season. Are you feeling good about the result? Yeah, well, well, I, I was until... Yeah, well, I was until you opened your fucking mouth, buddy. Well, that win moves you up the table a bit, and I'm sure you've nothing to worry about with relegation, as Bournemouth, Southampton and Leeds have pretty much got those presents wrapped up for this season. Moving on, uh, Jurgen Klopp. What is going on with the form at Lemmings Football Club this season? It was a horrible start and went downhill from there. I'm already in the chopper. <sighs> Gary. Our next game saw Aston Villa host Leicester City. And someone's made a typo on my teleprompter. No, seriously? Villa lost to Leicester? Wow. Pork Pie met the managers. Udai Emery. What's going on? I mean, this is Brenda for fuck's sake. Oh, I've no care with all dear Paul Poy because this surely baffles me body face. Uh, do you think Brenda somehow managed to find a way of getting drugs into the stadium to prevent her opponents from playing well? Some sort of lethargy potion that's been added to their water bottles, perhaps. Well, that would certainly go a long way to explaining the results of recent Paul Poy. Hmm. Brenda! I didn't know what you are talking about, dearie. I mean, it is true that my next door neighbour is a pharmacist, but that's just a coincidence, sweetie. Well, the lady doth protest too much uh, without prompting. Gary! Newcastle hosted West Ham and the game ended in a one-all draw. Pork Pie met the managers. Eddie, away the lad. How are you, Mr. Pork Pie? And how are you today? Do you not know? It's going read good. It is? Okay, well, uh, what do you think about your opponents today? West Ham. Ooh, you've got to love West Ham Uniturd. As it happens, I do love... What? Did you just call my club Uniturd? Turn up, get your three points, Ganheim. Fantastic club. If every team was West Ham, we'd win the league. But you didn't win. You drew one all. And if you draw all of your games one all, you get relegated with only 38 points. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, man, no. Afraid so, Eddie. One nil. Then you fucked it up. Which is odd for West Ham. Uh, but no doubt due to a good tactical setup by our manager. David Moyes. Aye, top talent there, like, you know, he needs a bit of luck. And he's a ginger. Really? Oi! Moyes! You're an idiot, big man. Is it true? Are you a full-on Russ Abbott sweaty under all that grey hair? Hey, I'm a redhead Scotsman for sure. Well, I'll cut you some slack today. I mean, a draw isn't a win, but then Newcastle ain't exactly a pushover. But you're still on thin ice, right? Hey, Gary! Our next game on tonight's... Our next game on tonight's... Our next game on tonight's show saw, holy shit, it's the Premier League Grim Reaper. Wow, bad news is incoming. Nottingham Forest hosted Le uh, Leeds. Okay, Leeds lost 1-0, makes perfect sense now. Port Pie met one employed and one unemployed manager. Oi, letter cares. Yes, Pork Pie? I am not looking forward to the end of season roundup show. Why ever not? Much like the BAFTAs and Oscars, we're going to have to do a section on managers that we have lost in the current season. And? And? How the fuck are we going to explain 26 dead bodies when the league only contains 20 fucking teams? This is a bad day in Bosnia, for fuck's sake. Moving on. Cooper. You bagged the win, and you also bagged the scalp. Are you happy? Of course I'm happy. I still got my job. <laughs> oh, Jesse Marsh, or as I should be calling you, Yank Lampard. Hey there, poor pie. How y'all doing? Uh, better than you, by all accounts. I won't worry about that. We're finding a way to lose, and I need to find ways to win. Uh, you might try a little-known method called scoring more goals than your opponent. Well, that's an option for sure. Oh, oh my love. Hey, whoa there, boy. What you doing? My darling. Ah, shit. I've hungered for your touch. Hello, lonely. 
Gary, I'm thinking maybe we should ask Mr. May and Mr. Taylor if we could just use another one bites the dust. Or would that be too cruel? Moving on, our final game of this week saw Mank Hester Shitty travel to the lane to take on the Mighty Spurs, where the game ended in a 1-0 win for the Mighty Spurs. Get the fuck in. Port Pie met the managers and one very happy, very historic player. Port Pie, Antonio Conte. Uh, oh. Yeah, you're you're not actually here, are you? Because you had an operation and you're recuperating. Um, okay. Uh, Harry Kane. Uh, fantastic game for you personally. Uh, you scored the goal that finally beat the club record set by Jimmy Greaves. Uh, and it was also the same goal that got you into the Premier League's 200 club. Uh, so, all round, uh, you must be over the moon. You must be ecstatic. Uh, you must be totally elated and full of joy on what must be, without question, one of the happiest days of your life outside of the birth of your children and, of course, your wedding day. Uh, 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 yeah, obviously. What? And that's it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, bit of an anti-climax. Uh, Pep. Shut it, Morris. Hmm. New outfit, huh? So you're definitely set on regionalising the managers. It is what it is, Morris. It is an impending lawsuit, if you ask me, but that's none of my business. Um, so you've given up altogether on Noel Gallagher, and you're going to get sued instead by Baby Cow and Graham Duff, then. Thingy Morris, it's the best form of it. Interesting to see that Man City are now being charged with financial misconduct, Pep. Um, tell me, uh, uh, are you looking forward to playing against Millwall and Hull City next season in the Championship League? Well, you look at me now, Morris, I'm ready for anything. Psycho Pep! Okay, uh, Gary, right then. Game count done, body count done. I guess that's it for another week. See you next time. Harry Maguire!